Good morning. It's Ada Sparks with the Word of Hope. You know, this morning I was thinking about those moments when you hear something, you, you're given some news, you're given a report, someone tells you about something and your heart just sinks. You know that moment? We've all had them. It almost just feels like you've been punched in the stomach and sometimes we're left speechless. Sometimes we have to bite our tongue and kind of maybe blink back a few tears. And it's in those moments that we just don't really know how to handle the disappointment of life because it happens. And I find Elijah in the scripture was in a similar state. It's when Jezebel had threatened him and life was not going as he had wanted it to. And he had gone a couple of days journey into the wilderness and it says that he sat under a juniper tree and he was just saying Lord just take my life just take my life but this is a man of God and he had spoken God's word so many times but he was so discouraged you know it doesn't matter how close your walk with God is you can still have those moments that you're just feeling overwhelmed Life's heartaches have just become so heavy. They've just become overwhelmed. They're just too much. We all have that moment where we're just saying, it's just too much. And what I love here is the way that the Lord spoke to him. Now I know that the Lord has different ways of romancing his children. He may let you hear a beautiful song or a sermon that speaks right to your soul. He often shows off his beauty through nature to me. Even this morning when he knew that I needed a little encouragement, a hummingbird came on my porch and I haven't seen one on my porch yet this year and yet there one came and it just lifted my spirits because he knew I needed that. And yet here this morning, it says that Elijah was needing that and a great and strong wind rent to the mountains and then an earthquake and then a fire. But Elijah didn't find the Lord's voice in any of those things. Instead, it was a still, small voice. And that's how the Lord spoke to him. And that's how the Lord will speak to you. If you find yourself in that place this morning or this afternoon or whatever season of life, in that moment when you feel so overwhelmed with heartache, just stop and listen for his still, small voice. It will be there to encourage you, and he will carry you through this difficult time. Remember, be wise, not afraid. My God has got you. God bless.